at another apartment in Kobe. This time we're closer to the Harborland. So this is the 15th floor and we're about to view a 3LDK room. This costs about uh, 300,000 yen per month. And so let's go take a look, shall we? So first of all, we have this very cool key. So it's like you just press this button and it's like a car key. Well, let's take a look at this very spacious entrance with these marble tiles. It's very, very fashionable, very luxurious. So as we walk in, we can look at this door on the right. So there is a storage space inside. So here you can keep like your golf bags, your suitcases, you know, maybe your snowboards, your skateboards, whatever, all those things that we use in our daily lifestyle. So let's head on in. Of course, we have the notorious shoe shelves. So for the shoe shelves, you have various levels that you can adjust. It's good enough for a family of 10 if you ask me. So no matter how many shoes you have, you will never have to worry about the space. So following the entrance, we have the very first door, which is our toilet. It has the same washlet as we have in most public restrooms. So it's very luxurious. As well as that, we also have some storage on top. Plenty of room to store your toilet paper. All your sanitary needs up here. There's also a small sink over here for you to wash your hands. So some storage below here as well. So let's go look at the first room. So this is one of the bedrooms that we have in this very large house. So as we walk in, there is a very clean flooring on, as you can see. And it's good enough to fit a good sized bed here. And there's also a window, so there's some natural lighting. As you can see, you can see the mountains skyline is very nice as well as that it's very quiet and it also has an air conditioner which is good as well but the point to this room is this walk-in closet are you ready look at this spacious walk-in closet so you can hang all your coats your clothing you can even put your futons on top so I said there is another space over here to hang anything that you need to hang. So it's every girl's dream to have a walk-in closet. So next, let's head on in and see the sink area. So as you walk in, look at this massive mirror. It's amazing. It's super good for you to do your makeup, to get ready in the morning. It's good for families as well because there's a lot of space on the side. There's also a lot of storage as you can see over here. Sorry. And a little trick that I like to do is you can use it like this. So you can see like three sides of yourself, which I think is really good when you need to get ready, especially for ladies. And of course we have the bottom storage area. So we have, of course, many drawers and the shelves as well. So enough space for you to keep all your daily necessities. Also, there is a tiny storage over here. So this is also good to keep other miscellaneous items over here. And also over here as well. Look at all this space for you to keep all your necessities for the washing of your clothes or your bathroom, anything really. It's a lot of space. And of course over here goes your washing machine. And of course the well-weighted bathroom. So as you push it open here, look how wide and luxurious this bathroom is. So of course we have the automated bathtub which as long as you press one button, all the water will fill up for you. And there is also the heating mechanism that will help to warm up your bath after it has cooled down for a while. 
And also there is a shower and a large mirror area. If you want to just take a shower on a hot day, this is good as well. So it's very nice. Also, please take a look at these really nice wooden accented walls. They're all different on each side and it's really nice as well. Okay, let's go next. So following the bathroom, we have the second room, which is over here. So please you know that every single room has a window, which is, I think it's a very important point because I always like all my rooms to have windows. So obviously there is the connected balcony out here, so we can even open the window to let some fresh air in. See all of Kobe from here. It's a beautiful view. And of course, this also comes with an air conditioner. Very important during the summer. And we have the closet. So this one over here doesn't have a walk-in closet, but this is more than enough space for someone's clothes, your toys if there are kids staying in this room. Now, following next, let's go. Before we look at the living room, I want to go to the third room. So let's look at the room first. So this is the last room that we have. It's a bit smaller than the rest, but it's still good enough. There's also obviously a closet on this side. So with three rooms, you won't have to fight with your siblings about where to sleep. You have your own space. And an air conditioner. Very important. Okay, let's go now to the well-awaited kitchen. So over here we have a very nice counter kitchen and it has this very nice marble table surface. We have a very large sink area and even you can pull it out to use over the sink because it's pretty large. So over here we have a dishwasher. So this is a very good thing to have in a kitchen when you have a big family and you have a lot of dishes. This will help you out a lot in your daily routine. Now let's head over to the gas. So we have a three hob gas stove. It's good for cooking. As well as that, we also have a griller for fish. This is also very important for Japanese because we eat a lot of fish. And let's take a look at the storage, shall we? So I'm gonna open it one by one. So obviously we have here, and if you can take a look over here, this is where you put your knives. This is a very common thing to have in Japanese homes. Obviously we have all these very nice drawers. Also some place to keep your cutleries. And of course another, this space where you can put all your pots and pans, so it's very helpful. And the specific point I like about this kitchen is over here. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? So you can put like all your oils, everything that you use to cook over here. And I think that is so important when you're cooking. So this is something that I think most ladies will love. Of course, men, if you cook as well. I'm sorry. And of course, we have storage on top as well. So this is where you can keep all your plates, your bowls, your glasses any dry foods. And this is a little point that I want to show over here. This is for wine glasses. So for people who like their alcohol, you can hang your glasses here. It'll be a very nice touch to your interior. Okay, let's head on now to the living room. So over here is the living room. It's very, very spacious. You can fit your sofa, your family you can have your TV here, you can sit on the sofa. And then this area over here will be for dining. As you can see, there's a really little cute little chandelier. So you can have your dining table here, and then you can sit with your family, have a nice family meal over the weekends, which is very good as well. And of course, we have an air conditioner right here. So this air conditioner also is good because of the location. So the air will flow down to the kitchen so you can feel cool when you cook. So now the well-awaited view. So this entire thing is a balcony. Are you ready? So over here, 
can see. The entire Look at how much natural lighting enters this room. And the good thing about this balcony is the balcony windows are full from the top to the bottom, so you can see the entire view. From over here, you can see the Portland. This is a very famous part of Kobe that most people will come to to look at. So let's take a look outside, shall we? Look at this view. You can also see the hotel. And of course over here, you can see the almost 360, probably about 180 degree view of Kobe. So beautiful. All right. So this place even has its own concierge service. It is in a very good location with many eateries and supermarkets very nearby. It's also made from refined concrete so you won't have to worry about the noise from your other neighbors. So I hope you follow us more if you want to see more beautiful homes in any part of Kansai. And that will be all for today. Thank you for coming with us. See you again.